I know. So I know it. They're so mean. <laughs> He's like, what are you guys want? He's got so much personality. Wow, isn't he big? Oh, he's a big one. Oh, it's big. I didn't take any of it. I can hear his roar. Okay, I'm back. Are Then get out of his way and look down.
Right there. A very good <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. If you want to go home with us. choose to do it they get a reward most of the time it is food um, if they choose not to do what we ask them no big deal we can ask them to do something else we can redirect them put them a time out if we need to but we never force them to do anything that they don't want to do do you have a question for me my friend what's your question are we gonna pick volunteers did you want to race the chief that kind of coming to to their own maturity uh, adolescence I guess would be a good word to describe where they're at in their development. They are also special and unique in the fact that they are half king cheetahs. Raise your hand if you've heard of king cheetahs before. Not too many of you. It's not unusual. It's not really something that naturally occurs very often in nature. Their mother was a full king cheetah. Their dad was a regular African cheetah. And so they have some of the qualities of the king cheetah. What are those qualities? Well, normally when you look at pictures of king cheetahs, you'll see that they have some stripe edge to their pelts, to their, to their, about 20 to 30 seconds before they start running the risk of injury through overexertion and overheating themselves. The tough existence out there in Africa for this. Hopper. This is Amara and Hopper just out for a little walk. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Come to Cheetah Run at 3.30 today. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Guys.